Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It's the first day of Ramadan 2021. And uh, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, we are getting another opportunity to ask for forgiveness for our sins, to purify ourselves. And that's really something which is extremely amazing and beautiful in Islam. I actually, uh, I was feeling very emotional because I'm struggling a bit with my own issues, feeling depressed and just, you know, feeling like, I don't know how to actually explain it. There were lots of things going on, but every time I feel like, you know, the more hardships I go through, the more I see that, you know, Islam is such a soothing concept. When you think of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like, you ask yourself how much Allah loves you that he wants to do everything to bring you closer to him. He will never allow you to go far from him when he loves you. And he will, you, 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 you actually in the pain, you see Allah's mercy because in the pain you realize and perhaps you gain some humility that there are so many things which you used to do and say that were wrong. And you know that... Um, you know, whatever happens, like at the end of the day, you Allah knows you, He knows what you're going through and He's trying to tell you something through this challenge. So of course, for those who are Muslims, this is not a foreign concept. They tell you that the more Allah loves you, the more He will test you. Sometimes this is also very difficult to digest because you don't understand the logic behind it. But then I was talking to my aunt and like she's very... She's one of the few people actually in my life. I know many people who are close to me, who support me, but she's one of the few people who will really go out of her way to help people heal and to listen to them and support them. He might, she might be talking to you two hours just to listen to you and help without expecting anything in return. And I don't know many people who do that. I don't know many people who will go out of their way to actually he she actually likes to to get that opportunity any person who is sick or depressed like she will really this is what she lives for uh, besides worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so yeah we were talking about how you know when you in life in general when you go for an exam it is hard but then when you pass a certain level of examination you are ready for the next level and the next level is harder and it goes on becoming harder you do a degree then you go for a master's it becomes more and more difficult because you have already cleared the first level so i'm trying to make a parallel with the dean because let's assume that you know uh, a lie satisfied with you on a certain level you have you have met all the requirements like now you are ready for another level of difficulty and you know there are there is a huge wisdom to be gained from that and uh, the or every time the same conclusion is that nothing is permanent here and, and we don't really nothing belongs to us even our own body does not belong to us it's something that we have to return at a given point and um, that's a great lesson in humility, actually. You know, when you look at Instagram, these celebrities, Bollywood, you see that some people tend to worship themselves. They tend to worship materialism. They tend to feel like, you know, this is life for them. Just um, being involved in your own pleasures all the time and exposing, advertising it to the entire world. This is what they live for. I'm not, ridicule I'm not criticizing them or or bashing them or humiliating them in any way but i don't think this is right to me this is something absolutely disgusting and if i could block all these images from my instagram i would do it like just looking at that i i i can't understand how deluded people are these people are totally cut off from reality they are living in a world anyways which reminds us to the conclusion that you know you should be grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to open your eyes because you don't live in these fake beliefs. You are, you don't live, how would I say? I guess there are so many things which can be said about it. But the m most common feeling that I get when I started to perhaps see the truth more, it's like, you know, I am sick of all these fake things. 
of these ugly and healthy um, things and and now I realize that Allah has created you for a higher purpose, like He wants you to respect yourself, you know. Why should you degrade yourself to the point of exposing your body to the world? I still don't understand, I will never understand. But there was a time when perhaps I thought that was good, that was normal. But now today I know that it's not normal, it's not something that gives you peace in your mind when you look at it, even as a woman, when you look at that kind, those kinds of things going on on the internet and all of that, then you feel thankful that you are a Muslim because you respect yourself, you respect others, most importantly you respect others as well. You don't want to be placing someone in a situation of discomfort or, you know, sometimes when you think of uh, men and self-control, you know, you also have a responsibility, you know, you don't give men that uh, excuse how do I say, they're already struggling with their self-control, so you can make it easier for them. They can also make it easier for you, inshallah. But I guess if I have to summarize all of that is that, you know, uh, Allah does not, Allah does, or, or only wants the best for you. In this world, there are so many evil things going on, unhealthy things going on, and He doesn't want you to become a part of it. He doesn't want you to be a victim of these ugly mentalities, he tells you again and again and again, I don't know how many times I will repeat that, but I will repeat it anyways. Many women, many girls think that they will find happiness or love when they remove their clothes or when they dress provocatively or when they wear tons of makeup or when they agree to have casual relationships with men. But this is so, so wrong. It's so wrong. You know, you're humiliating yourself when you're doing that. You are worth so much more and Allah keeps reminding you that you know you are already beautiful he wants people to respect you he wants people to take care of you he wants people to not play with your feelings or even your body so why are you doing such massive injustice to yourself I think it's time to wake up and to realize that we deserve so much better we deserve respect and we need to respect others as well so I hope that this year this Ramadan is going to make us realize that there are so many things which we do wrong and we still can correct them. That's actually the beauty of it, that we haven't died yet. We still have a chance to correct and that's, I think, precisely the aim of Islam. Constantly not focusing on what others are doing wrong. Yes, using others' mistakes as a reference in order for you to not do the same thing. That's something different. But always reminding yourself that, you know, uh, perhaps I used to do that too. Now you understand how it looks like. When you do something wrong, sometimes you don't find it serious. But when you see someone else doing it, then you realize like this is really a horrible thing. I shouldn't have been doing that. It wasn't good for me.